Hey everybody and welcome to another video. I'm Mike B and today we're going to be opening up a can of 1224 7.62 by 25 millimeter cartridges from Romania. Uh, you guys seem to like these opening cans and crates videos so I'll keep them coming as long as I'm uh, opening up cans and crates. So again I'm just going to use the standard tool that comes with the uh, crates for this one. Might get some um, might do some creative videos in the future of like different ways. The one that was brought to my attention is just flipping it over and rubbing it on concrete, which I watched and I get that, but uh, that seems to take a long time and a lot more effort than I want to put into it. So, all right. I also, I need this ammo because I just got, <clears throat> just got done with my, I don't know. I think it was a 1200 something round can of uh, Polish 7.62 by 25. The stuff with a lot of the split case necks and stuff like that. So I'm actually going to be moving on to this. I have no experience with this. I've heard nothing but good things about this. So really quick before we um, kind of get into it, that's going to be the lot number, I'm guessing. 1982 is going to be the date. I don't know what these numbers are. And I don't know what PGL means, but, um, and then 1,224 pieces or, you know, rounds. Ooh, that was a good one. So anyway, yeah, we're just going to start here. I'll probably speed this part of the video up so you don't have to sit there and watch. I'll just show you. All right, hopefully we get a hiss on this one. This thing is hermetically sealed, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, that was a good hiss if you heard that. I definitely did. All right. Just letting you know, that was one of the easiest corners I've ever opened on one of these cans in my entire life. That was pretty effortless. Anyway, we'll get going. Another super easy corner. Awesome. Maybe the Romanians did something different with uh, their corners. Because every can that I've opened, basically, thus far, has just been a massive pain in the ass on the corners. But... All right, so, cool beans, that's what it looks like inside, definitely keep that. So now is the funnest part of opening up one of these cans is seeing what we've got to work with. So I'm pretty sure these were made for submachine guns as well as the M57 pistol. So I think it's a little bit hot just like most other, yeah, 72, so it's gonna be made for the PPSH 41 or 43. Um, but yeah, it still comes in the 72 round boxes. Well, that looks really nice. Damn, that's some of the nicest uh, surplus I've seen in person. The uh, 50s Bulgarian stuff is a little bit less nice than this. Let's inspect a few of these rounds, because I would already be seeing split necks with the Bulgarian and Polish stuff. This is also from 1982, so that also helps. So, uh, yeah, you can see hopefully the head stamp right there. Factor 22. Oh, it's 1983. So that must be the, this must be the, like the contract date, but they actually made this in probably early 1983. So that's really interesting. No crimp or sealer or anything. You don't really need that. You got, or no, on the primer, I should say. You got the little, um, the, I think, what the hell are those called? The peen crimps or some shit like that. Anyway, that's pretty common on 76225 just to kind of hold the bullet into place. Awesome. This is going to be really fun to shoot. Um, one of my Patreon supporters said that this is some pretty hot stuff, but again, he doesn't have much experience with um, the Tulk Rev in general, so we'll see how it compares to the Polish stuff. Definitely will be making some videos on this shooting in the future. This is all I've got to work with for the next however long this can lasts for Tulk Rev videos, and I definitely have some to make. So, um, yeah, cool. That's really all I've got. Uh, check out some of these boxes. Should have gotten another can of the of this stuff because it's sold out currently and everybody was saying it's good stuff. Oh well, it'll be around. This was made in the 80s. There's probably there's probably a lot more of it out there. So awesome. Hey, thanks for coming along with the, or on coming along with me on this little journey of opening up a new spam can of ammo. It's always a good feeling to do that because you know that there's gonna be some inevitable range time. 
Um, yeah, again, here I'll show you this stuff up close. It's in very good condition. It looks basically brand new. Uh, technically, it was hermetically sealed, so kind of it is. But uh, yeah, it's, I'm so excited to go and shoot this. All right, and yeah, thanks for doing this with me. Um, if I figure if I'm going to open up a can of ammo anyway, I might as well film it so you guys can see, and then maybe you can get a little bit of my technique and replicate that to I don't know, ease your pain on opening these things by, by hand with these tools. Damn it. So, all right. Thanks for watching, everybody. You know the drill. Um, if you're not subscribed and all that stuff, please consider doing so. Also, if you consider supporting the channel financially via Patreon or becoming a channel member, uh, five bucks a month or more on either method of support gets you access to my Discord server, which is really cool. We have a lot of fun conversations and stuff like that. And it helps me be able to afford ammo like this, uh, range videos, magazines, guns, gas, all that stuff costs money. And whenever I don't have to fund out of pocket is more cool content you guys get to see. I'm very limited with my um, out of pocket expenses. So crowdfunding really helps with stuff like this. Um, it definitely helped offset the cost of this can. And hopefully we'll be able, be able to make some educational videos about this and use this ammo for uh, helmet ballistic tests, which is, you know, this is like the deciding round for ballistic tests. So without your, or the current and past support, I wouldn't have been able to probably buy this whole can. So anyway, it just helps me be able to afford things like that. If you can't support the channel financially, I totally get that. It's totally fine. I do just appreciate you watching. Uh, consider liking the video and sharing this out if you thought this was interesting. Let me know what you think. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time.